high. One of the mental barriers that motion designers have is they think they can only use a project once. However, it clearly isn't the case. With just a couple of tweaks, you can use it as many times as you want and get paid for it several times. Well, in this video, I'll be talking about one of your questions, which was asked to me in many other forms as well, which was for example, when I made an animation like this for this coin, how can I change its logo without repeating the whole animation process once again? And if you're still unfamiliar with animating this coin, I recommend you to watch this video. And if you're eager to master motion graphics from the ground up, the Motion Hero Masterclass is an essential step-by-step -step resource for you. Before delving deep into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends so we all can grow together. Okay, what I want to do is replace this diamond with a dollar sign over here. Just note that what you want to replace with the dollar sign has to be a shape. Well, I open the diamond layer. Under contents, I say all the shapes that I want to replace with the dollar sign. I hit Ctrl G and I put them in a new group and rename it. I copy the group and in the S front layer, I select the contents and paste the group right here. I place it on top of the fill and stroke and hide the dollar sign. Once that's done, I pick up the pen tool and select all the points of the diamond. I hit Ctrl T, I hold Shift and rotate the diamond 180 degrees. And I place it where the dollar sign used to be. And I change its size accordingly. After that, I don't need the stroke. I also disable fill. And only the diamond layer should be visible right here. Then I copy this group, open the S back layer, and under contents, I paste it again. I move it up and I hide the other layers. I head over to the S extrude layer and here under contents, I paste it and move it up. And I hide all the layers except for fill. Since the fill will look a bit weird once the diamond shape is pasted to this layer, I head over to the shape layer and I disable the fill of the base layer so just the previous fill would be applied to the layer and that problem will be solved. After doing this, I also have to change the shape of the light comp as well. I head over to the light comp. I open the S back layer. And right here, I paste the group. And I disable the stroke and fill of the layer. Now, if I go back to the main comp and watch the animation from the beginning, you can see that the new diamond shape is replaced with the previous dollar one and there is no issue regarding the animation. And finally, if you're interested in more tips and tricks in motion graphics film, I suggest watching this playlist. Thanks for watching.